Ma'aina. I'm Ahu Ke Kahu Cardwell with the Kauai Foundation here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network, where the majority of the U.S. Supreme Court justices are firming the injunction against the Na'iapuni election last week. Na'iapuni, for all practical purposes, is now dead. And while there are many to thank for their efforts in making this happen, we here at Free Hawaii TV want to thank one group in particular, which may surprise you. But wait a minute, you say, isn't the Grassroot Institute a bunch of right-wing, ultra-conservative people? Aren't those people the enemy? Why would you want to say mahalo to them? If you went for a swim in the ocean and encountered rough waters and began to drown and someone swam out to rescue you, would you say to them, before I let you save me, I want to know your politics, because if your politics don't match mine, I have to refuse your help. Now, how crazy would that be? If you find yourself in trouble, you're going to accept help from the very first person that comes along. If Hawaiian nationals and everyone else opposed to Na'iapuni had had the funds to fight this themselves, they would have. And they would have used legal arguments that Judicial Watch and the Grassroot Institute did, that the Na'iapuni election is a race-based fraud, and that Hawaii is a sovereign nation. So the difference here is the Grassroot Institute and Judicial Watch had the money to do it, and those Hawaiians who opposed Na'iapuni did not. They didn't have the funds because the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, which is a criminal enterprise, presently controls those funds. And they squandered it once again to work against Hawaiians instead of for them. Look, we here at Free Hawaii TV know the people at Judicial Watch and the Grassroot Institute have diametrically opposed political points of view to us. We know they see Hawaii as the U.S. 50th state. But does that mean we can't accept their help, their kokua, if we really need it? And shouldn't we take the time to say mahalo to them for offering it and stopping the Na'iapuni election? Next week here on Free Hawaii TV, we'll show you why, even though Na'iapuni is dead, the push for U.S. federal recognition is still very much alive and what you can do to help stop it. Now, if you think this information is important, share this Free Hawaii TV video with all your friends online. That's how you can support a Free Hawaii. I'm Ahu Ke Kahu Cardwell with the Kiwani Foundation, right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network.